I gotta say, I hope that uh, everybody in this room had a chance uh, to really listen to what happened on this stage this morning. And for me, it was incredibly thrilling because I am gonna talk about some weird stuff right now. And when I, and I've been thinking about my whole, my whole deal for about the, about the year and a half, and this will be the first time I ever am going to be talking about this in public. You're the first people to ever hear this. I was worried because when I got here, I was worried that I was gonna freak everybody out. And then Kelly comes on and unloads her, 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 her line, which I'm taking home is, is uh, make your own moment. And I'm gonna do that right now, but also it will blend in with everything that I'm talking about. Uh, furthermore, on the stage when we had the panel, the thing that I took away from that was a change in leadership. Don't be afraid to, uh, to be a disturbance in the status quo. Not only that, but we have to do it. Numbers, I heard some statistics that numbers are going down. Millennials are down to 5%. Weird, red flags to me. I'm gonna bring up some red flags today. And I am, without a doubt, gonna be talking, I'm gonna push some buttons. And I don't wanna step on anybody's toes, that's not my goal here at all. The privilege to inspire, those are the words that I, it took me forever to put into a line. Read them now the privilege to inspire, and we're gonna look back at it in the end here. In about 20 minutes, we're gonna look, look back at these words again, and it's all gonna culminate. I want you to remember everything that Kelly said. I want you to think about the things that the panel was talking about. Because uh, it's all gonna make sense. You're gonna have some times where you're gonna feel weird and go like, what is that guy talking about? But then you're gonna have some times when it, when it makes sense. Okay, goals, logic, baseline. This is important before I get too deep. You already heard where I came from, and I already kind of dipped into what my goal is here today. I wanna push buttons. It's gonna be specifically related to content, ambassadors, and the current online marketing systems. I'm gonna be telling you all things that you already know. And how do I know you already know it? because I visited all your websites before I got here. I just watched the panel talk about what they want to change. Light bulbs are going to be going off in your head, going, now ah, that guy's telling me something I already know. The problem is, is it's not trickling down. And the panel said that as well. I don't even have to talk about any statistics, because they did it all. I am going to push the buttons right now to help us make these new movements trickle down. My baseline. That was kind of my introduction that they already talked about because it's important to know where I come from. Um, six keys to human happiness. This is critical to what, when I, when I really hit the punchline. These are my six keys to human happiness. Without a doubt, you're gonna fall back into college and see some things that kind of pop out in here that from Maslow and a bunch of those other guys. These are mine, these are the ones that I adapted, and I've taken them a little bit, just one step further, but they're very important to the privilege to inspire. Food, clothing, shelter, duh. We all know that one, right? Okay. Loving relationships. This does not need to be a spouse, but it needs to be friends. We need loving relationships for perfect human happiness. You have to have friends that care about you, and symbiotically or reciprocally, you care about them. It can be a spouse, it can be family, you fill in the blanks with what works for you. Gay, straight, black, white, tall, skinny, none of it matters as long as you have that loving relationship somewhere in your life. Meaningful work. This is critical to the privilege to inspire. I really want everybody to listen right here because this took me a long time, a long time to process in my head. We all need, whether you're a garbage truck driver, working at McDonald's, flipping hamburgers, whatever it may be, we all need meaningful work. Being a garbage truck driver is meaningful work. Being a school teacher is meaningful work. Being a nuclear physicist sometimes maybe, depending on who you're working for, can be meaningful work. 
But the important part about this meaningful work is it has to go in both directions. You need to be recognized for your meaningful work. Back to the, the, the board that was just up here talking about women and diversity in the work, workplace. And, and, and one of the, the, the people up here, I, it was one of the women, she was sitting right here, I believe, blonde, tall. She said, uh, we need to recognize not the people that are leaving the industry for their lifelong work, we need to recognize them now. Same thing. We need to recognize people for their meaningful work, okay? We need to recognize how important what a school teacher does. I love school teachers. They support our children. Heck, half the time they're doing most of the parenting this day and age. Why parents are off, running off, staring into their black screens. How many people are staring into their, their black mirrors right now? See a couple over there, a couple over there. We just get sucked into these things. It's horrible, isn't it? Technology. Teachers, God, they're wonderful. They get paid poo. In the state, you get like $40,000 a year in the state for a full-time grade school teacher. Such an important job. Garbage man. God, I love my garbage guy. He shows up, picks up my garbage, drives it away. He's around toxic fumes. Tough job, big rumbling truck, liability in case he runs, runs into something, this big truck. We need to recognize people's meaningful contributions to the world around them. Number six, five and six are the ones we're focusing on. Recreational creative outlet is, the, is number six in, the, uh, in my perfect keys to happiness. Now, hopefully, a couple of you have just thought to yourselves, hey, that's what we do. We are a recreational, emotional, creative outlet. We are the mountain community. Let's see if I can get my technology to work. Come on. Hey, I might have to, ah, there we go. So, meaningful work in the community, we already talked about that, but it has to go in two directions. It must go in two directions. And recreational outlets, again, that's what we do. Coincidentally, this motocross track is in the mountains, sort of, the foothills, Washougal, Washington. Just thought I'd change it up a little bit. But we are in the recreational outlet industry. That is what we make. Now, where is this important? In our world, number five and number six coincide on top of each other. Hopefully everybody can see that. I don't think we ever talk about that. We produce a recreational and emotional outlet for our clients, a really healthy one at that, so they can leave their job in the city, whether they're a school teacher, garbage truck driver, um, go down the line, nuclear physicist, that poor guy, or woman. Um, you name the job. We are producing, and the ski.com video just said it as well, we are making experiences for them. Back to Kelly, she said it. We are making people's experiences so they can leave their job and come up and fulfill number six in the keys to human happiness and feel good and then go back to their work and do a better job. Hopefully everybody's following me and I believe you are because it's not that hard to correlate the two. Uh, I might have to have my uh, electronic staff in the back. I'm losing connection. There we go. I believe that we are sitting on an impending narcissistic bubble. Fortunately, coming up later in the day, we have a gentleman coming up and talking about the, the, the uh, millennial crew. Um, and I'm really curious to see what that's going to say. The impending narcissistic bubble as it relates to social online networking, Facebook, Twitter, all the social online stuff, which without a doubt, as we all know and all agree, is the mothership, is the headway, is the front line to all of our marketing at this point, right? Yeah, sure, there's a few billboards out there that y'all are still buying, but it is the new world. A lot of us are uh, in, you know, I'm 48, I experienced analog, journalism all the way through to what I have now, as well as many of you in this room have. The problem is, like I said, I'm telling you things that you guys already know. 
We already know that we want to sell to families. You know, we're, we want to support. We, we heard everything that Kelly had to say. It was, we know that. But in the middle, it's not trickling down. And I have the data to prove it. Uh, and it's, I call it this narcissistic bubble burst. So I'll go ahead and flip forward to the next slide here. So ambassadors and athletes, which I also include in the ambassador realm, I include social marketing departments. Now, at GoPro, um, one of my main functions the last four years has been to visit, and I have visited them all around the globe. Some of my friends are in here, CEOs and marketing execs, and I have sat down with your marketing departments and your video people, and I have scanned and looked and watched and, and analyzed the heck out of all your business models for four years. All the Vail Group, all the Intrawest, all the powder, Europe, Lock Switzerland, uh, which I love Lock Switzerland. Man, that place has been ahead of its time for a long time. But our ambassadors, our social departments, and our athletes, this is where the problem is. And it's not to say that our athletes aren't good. They are. It's not to say that our athletes don't get it or that, that they're not inspiring. Well, actually, they're not inspiring. Right now, we're in this narcissistic bubble. Everything is about, look at me, I'm getting face shots. I'm in a helicopter in Alaska. Hey, more face shots. Everybody's posting pictures of the same, it was a great year everywhere. Everybody got face shots. The word inspire, if you go back to its Latin meanings, it means to blow air into, it means to blow knowledge and truth into somebody. We are not inspiring at a mid-level. We are not inspiring on Instagram, and particularly on Instagram, which is the front line right now. It gets more interaction than anything else. What we are doing is making people jealous. Why? Let me, let me put this into perspective. Think of the superstar athlete of your choice. Biggest one you can think of. It's the X Games super pipe the biggest, most broadcast event in Shred TV. It's the finals. That athlete doesn't show up at the top. The announcer says, oh, so-and-so, the superstar is not here. We're gonna skip his run. What do you do? Do you call Jake Burton? Hey, Jake, your athlete just didn't show up to the top. I'm pissed, I want my money back. No, nope. you don't care. If your garbage man you put your garbage out on Monday mornings. The garbage man doesn't show up. You come home from work, your garbage is still sitting there. What's the first thing you do? You call your garbage guy, because it's important. That work relationship, our athletes need to respect that the school teacher's job, if that school teacher doesn't show up, our athletes, ambassadors, and marketing departments need to respect that that school teacher's job is far more important than theirs, way more important than any professional skier, backcountry snowboarder, or anything. That school teacher's job is more important. They need to reciprocate number five, meaningful work. We instead elevate our athletes and our superstars to these levels of like, oh, you're so, you're so incredible. You're the best. Children, we're creating a, a, a uh, a baseline for children at young as 10 years old, their first wish, and I get hit by it all the time, how do I get sponsored? What? Where, what's wrong with your parenting? Your parents are letting that become a priority? No, it's a recreational outlet. Now quickly think, we're gonna get back to it. I just wanna interject at one time, the privilege to inspire. Okay, let's roll through a couple slides here. Um, Real quickly, state of marketing. I already talked, I already kind of alluded to this a little bit. Facebook, Instagram are by far the most powerful right now. Instagram, the most shared, injected. But the thing that I wanna drive home is that all the algorithms are behavior driven. If we keep feeding our athletes, our marketing departments, the ability to just send out jealousy shred porn, People are gonna keep clicking on it, just like I watch my teenagers slam through it without reading any captions. 
The algorithms feed the behavior. They're never going to get the meaningful content that we need to start putting out. Cycle through, please. Cycle through. We can skip that because I already talked about it. Now, I'm just going to have the, the digital department start cycling through a couple of these things. And just look up there. Just keep cycling through. Right now, you are looking at Instagram from GoPro and Instagram from Nat Geo, all stacked on top of each other. We have massive, and let's stop on that one for a second. Shred porn to the right, 278 comments. Shred, uh, dog, inclusive dog action on the left. 1,551 comments. These two were posted right next to each other on the GoPro website. Right next to each other. That should raise a flag. Keep rolling through these. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Now we're switching over to a random assortment of Instagram photos pulled from your resorts. Does anybody notice anything? Hopefully you're noticing that they all look the same. I could take any of these photos and plaster them onto any of your social team's feeds, aside from the Whistler Black Home Gondola. But the point I'm making is that we're doing the same thing, even though we know, because I've heard everyone say it. Okay, you can stop there. I've heard everyone say it, that, that we are on the same page. And this is where the privilege to inspire comes in. It is time for a change. We are the mountain community, and we deliver something special. We have good people. We are not the Halo gaming kill them all community. That community, I'm, I'd question whether or not the quality of humans that come out of that are as high of a quality as that, what the mountains produce. We all agree on that. Uh, next slide, please. Um, let your message meet the behavior. We have to trick these algorithms. We have to make a change. And at GoPro, there is an undeniable, undeniable evidence in our social feeds that people are hungry for meaningful content. The days of shred porn are over. And I really mean that. It probably hasn't surfaced yet because of the behavioral algorithms. Our number one most rated, engaged, moments at GoPro lately have been interviews on live Facebook with our engineers about the product, about how to do things, with ambassador photographers giving lessons on how to get something done. And that goes to what Ski.com just said in that video, which I found really interesting. They said, we want to help you make the best vacation ever. That's what we need to do. We need to change this. Okay, next slide, please. And and we'll move forward past this one, because technology, and next one, one more time. The future, the prerequisite for all your marketing departments, your athletes and ambassadors, the prerequisite is, last slide, the privilege to inspire. If we let people recognize, and our athletes recognize and see that they are being gifted a privilege to inspire our clients to come to the mountains. It is not an elevated, cool job. I'm sorry, Sean White, if I have to pick between you and the no-name kindergarten teacher, I'm taking the kindergarten teacher. She is unbelievably important to me, way more than you. No offense to Sean, nice kid, whatever. But our athletes, and I'm not saying that there aren't athletes out there already doing it. Kelly is one of them. She's already has the recognized in her heart that she has the privilege to inspire. She just never put it into those words. I believe I'm the first person to find those words. So when you hire people in your social online department and you work with ambassadors and you work with professional athletes, you ask them, do you have the privilege to inspire? Has it been installed in your heart? I need you to recognize that because our clients are those people in key to human happiness number five, they have meaningful work, they need to come to the mountains to enlighten themselves and enlighten their souls so they can go back into the regular community feeling good and be productive school teachers and other jobs. 
fact, all of us need to inject that. Now, if I do have time, unfortunately, I burned through my 20 minutes, and I did it quite flawlessly, I do have a two-minute video that I would like to show. It's two minutes long, and it's a quick, uh, quick little highlight. I don't know if you can bring that video up on the, on the last slide, um, tech, uh, IT crew. This is a video that I shot last year for uh, Mount Bachelor. I shot it in two hours and edited it. Features Jerry Lopez and a friend of mine named Pat Melandowski who uh, is suffering from stage four brain cancer. Crank the volume and I will close with this because this demonstrates the privilege to inspire. There's no way to, to put, put it into words. For me, having an inspiration of Jerry to, to base this off of, I, it, it's, I, I took it as my mantra and I just kept going. I'm just paddling, <laughs> you know, it's like, um, and, it, and it's, it's a uh, metaphor for, uh, for my life right now. And it's just, uh, thank you, Jerry, for bringing me to this place. Well, you know, Pat and I are surfers and, and uh, we've been surfing a long time. And in the experience of surfing, the learning experience, the whole process of it, you actually learn quite a few lessons that maybe when you really think about them, uh, they have as much if not more to do with life back on the beach than they do with where you learned them out in the surf. And, uh, you know, I knew Pat was going through a particularly uh, rough section. He was caught inside by, you know, in the, a surfing um, kind of context. He was caught inside by a pretty big set, maybe the biggest set of his life. And, you know, when I, I said to Pat, you know, this is just another set. And we've been caught inside how many times, countless times before in our life. And, you know, we never thought about it. And we knew what to do instinctively. We just kept paddling. And I guess it, it hit a note with Pat because, you know, he said, oh, okay. You know, I get it. <laughs> And uh, that's that's just something that that all of us, you know, learn when we're out surfing. Um, that when you get caught inside by a set, even a, a really big set, you can do a number of things. You can simply give up and get washed into the beach. Um, you can panic. Um, or you can try as hard as you can the whole position by maintaining, you know, keeping paddling. And um, that's what you try and do. And you, you just keep paddling in life. And, you know, whatever set catches you inside. And eventually the set passes and the lull comes. And you regain the lineup. and. You're ready to catch your next wave. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's almost like that. So, Perfect. We just keep paddling. That is it. Gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage JMO and from Mountain News, Todd Peters. Hi, Todd. <laughs> Hanging in there. Uh, it's up to you. We can sit down. Sure. Let's sit down. I don't know if you need that. So, about five minutes here for questions. Um, let's get right to it, okay? So, first off, we have amazing leaders here in the mountain travel industry, all in this room, the varsity, if you will, and what are next?
accept? What's the low-hanging fruit for them? Well, you know, I, I do apologize if I came across as slightly confusing at times. Um, the, uh, this is a very subject that's been very difficult for me, and um, because I, I don't, I don't blame anyone. That's the thing. There's, it's not blame like you're doing this wrong or you're not morally sound or whatever. But it's it's we we've reached a crux. And at GoPro, I watched it. We started with shred porn, and we just would pump out these videos with dubstep music, and then I watched it die. Mm. And I watched what people were were wanting, and I was able to get the message through actually to several of the resort communities, and they would produce. Videos, I mean, just off the top of my head, North Star did a great where your skis go at night, and this, this guy's name is uh, Chris Bartowski was their video guy. And he did some videos with kids and some dog stuff where it was incredibly inclusive and humanizing the, the moment. Now, it's not to say that athletes and ambassadors and shred picks aren't important. Mm -hmm but it's the message that we send with them. Mm. And that's why I came up with this, the privilege to inspire. It needs to be installed, almost like a programming software. Mm. And if the athlete or the ambassador is unwilling to install it, then don't hire them. You know, find somebody else, replace them. Gotcha, all right, that was a good answer. So who's doing it right? Any examples that we can go to after this and check out? I mean, there, there are, examples mm -hmm. everywhere of, of people. I mean, like, like I said when I started, I'm telling you something that you already know, but to put it into language I think is really difficult, especially to get it to trickle down to the middle. It's easy to talk about it and post it on our websites from an executive standpoint, mm -hmm. but to actually make it happen requires a fundamental shift in the way that we look at our industry. Mm -hmm. and. The shift is the front line, which is social online marketing. We need to change that message and we need to change it ahead of the narcissistic bubble exploding. Gotcha. Yeah. So last question here, we talk about disruption, right? You're a disruptor, um, you believe in it. Um, why is it important to disrupt the mountain travel industry? Well, like I said earlier, uh, let's go back to five and six of, of my keys to mm -hmm. happiness. Mm -hmm. Meaningful work that's reciprocated in both direc directions. It's recognized, whether you're flipping hamburgers or not, you, we are recognizing other people's contributions to the community. Whereas they are recognizing our, quote, athletes or ambassadors or social online departments, you know, a, you know d a contribution to the community. Mm -hmm. um, The, the, fundament, the fundamental change, uh, man, it's just it's so many different ways to, yeah. to send it. Yeah. it. It all comes back to those words. Mm -hmm. It really does, is, is installing the privilege to inspire. So you mm -hmm. recognize that and inspire truly by the word itself, mm -hmm. breathing truth into the people that you, you, you want to talk to. Mm -hmm. You're not breeding jealousy, hey, look at me, or the classic, my job is better than your vacation when people caption that stupid line. <laughs> I just want to be like, really? You know, hop back, grab your trust fund and hop back in your sprinter van and take <laughs> off to Moab. I don't want to hang out with you, right, you know? Right. It's like, it, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Um, so if we can install that and we can recognize it, especially with our young people, we can change the status quo. So instead of, like I talked about earlier, instead of young athletes coming up to me saying, well, I'm on the, 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 the little ski club, mm -hmm. you should sponsor me. I got third place at USASA. Mm -hmm. what, what? Sponsorship is your first goal? No, you're using the outdoor winter sport community to make you a better person so you can contribute, not to become a superstar. You know? and, it just, and, and we're the mountains, like I said, we're the mountain community. We produce good humans. I know we do. I've seen it for 30 years, okay? We can talk. I mean, can you imagine if we could control the NFL and the NBA and, and, and pass on what we can do to these other massive sports organizations mm -hmm. that, quite frankly, I mean, I'll say it out loud. I, last time, I, yeah, 
how many times do you see scandalous football player, mm -hmm. you know, beats up his girlfriend while he's on a dog fighting rink, mm -hmm. you know? You never see that in the mountain community. It doesn't happen, okay? All right. Think about if we could take our message and be so powerful that we could send it there. That would be pretty cool. All right, we'll end it there. Thanks so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to talk yeah. to Jambo later too as well. Good job, man. All right. Thanks for having me, everybody. <laughs>